Super special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yoshida Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charm, Sam Medina, and Belene Overlord for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seminis that I, Darkness Falls What. So, last episode, we finally found a lathe. Also, found a ton of demonic essences and another note. So, we'll be able to make that one more level. But, I also just found another lathe. Look at this portable lathe. I'm actually going to be buying that. Uh, if we have two, then we can actually make multiple gun parts at the same time. So that's awesome. Uh, just make sure if it doesn't have anything else that we might want to use. Blood, stranger. Any recipes you might be able to teach me? I'm waiting for the ones that actually give you like a uh, better... And crafting one. And crafting two. Never mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the ones where they sell you the books. I'm guessing it's going to be over here. It's not going to be in your, in your inventory like with um, Caitlyn, if I'm not mistaken. If we ain't got what you're looking okay, but for, yeah, I thought I found another Anna over here. There might actually be somewhere. I thought I found another Anna. Uh, there might actually be one over here. But yeah, it, it was her POI, just not Anna's POI. I don't want to invest at all in my treasure skill because I want to be able to dig a few blocks before the circle shrinks. So that's actually a legit strategy, not just because of the fact that you can go in a one by one, but because as soon as you have a military tablet where you can actually x-ray the ground, you don't want to have demons spawning because of circle shrinking. So for those of you new to Darkest Falls, don't go for the treasure skill. Go for Master Scientist, dig down straight on the treasure, voila your problems are solved. Okay, so you accept the buried supply quest. You go and you put your... Man, I can't believe we have two of these finally. After looking for so long, we have two of them. Okay, so we will right click. Guys, we'll have to wait until morning because it's too dark to tell where anything is right now. Okay, guys, I'm getting rather bored right now of waiting. Uh, I already killed all the zombies that were around me. That's a nice thing. The, the, the zombie sharp is red dots. So you know exactly where to go. This shouldn't fail, as far as I remember, because darkest falls may so that the circles don't fail. I'm just going to grab this because that one zombie dropped it, and that's it. Okay, um, it seems that the treasure was over here when we first saw it. I need to park my bike in such a way that we can just drive, just get out of here. 6,000, eh. It is something. I mean, not all of them can be winners, but still, we want to we wanna get the best loot as uh, much as possible. Nice, okay. Uh, please don't get stuck, I need to go for this one. See, I want to just hand this in quickly, accept a new quest, and then quickly go to the base and drop all this off. We are way too friggin' encumbered right now. That's awesome. You guys uh, told me, try the military tablet. Um, you'll be able to see treasures. Tried it. Not regretting it at all. It was awesome. I love it when you guys give me tips and stuff. Especially when it works this well. Okay, so let's see. Um, Cryptomod. Tells for four something, five something. So we'll grab this one. And perhaps take the Cryptomod. I think I need it for one of my turrets. Do you have any recipes or stuff you can teach me? Nope. Okay. Uh, ooh, a ton of buried supplies. Please give me level 5 quests. First things first, though. We have to go drop all the stuff off the base. We're just way too freaking encumbered right now. So what I want to do is... I want to do that one, that one. I actually want to go to that trader as well. Hand it and accept a new one. Because she already gave us a level 5 fetch over there. So what we could do is this, this, this... Hand it in over there, and uh, get the other quest reward for the nursery back to health, and go from there. Because I can technically do level 5 kill quests um, for the for the scout. Because all you have to do is drive away a little bit. You're not going to fail the quests. Fail, uh, quests don't fail in Darkest Falls. Um, well, except fetch quests and um, fear quests. Something. But these quests, they don't fail. So what you can do... Let me see, do you have space? Yeah. What you can do is you... Let the zombies spawn, like for example from the kill quest from the uh, for the trader. You let them spawn, you drive away, and then slowly but surely you pick off one at a time. That's all you have to do. It's a right click. Walk around over here. It doesn't seem like it's on the outskirts. It might be underneath a rock. Huh. Oh no. I think it's underneath the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, it is. So I'm right on top of it, more or less. Now we just dig down straight over here. It's right there. So now we just have to make sure that we can jump out. See, sometimes I can jump out so easily. 
the day I try doing zombie spawning, I get stuck in the hole and they kill me. Okay, let me just do that. Yeah, I need to make another little bit of a exit hole over here. Okay, and then we have to go for the killer quest, but I first need to go away from the red marker. My bike is right there. I need to go away from the red marker first, so that the zombies don't come to that quest. Oh crap, I hope I, I, hope I have enough space. I think we have to do... Let me just do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Mutator dude! Hello, demons, hello! Technically, you should never drive in a straight line. Because sometimes the demons um, shoot over your head and then the explosion hits above your head. Okay, so I should be able to go up and around. And quickly go do this quest over here. It's just a level 4 kill quest for the scout. So we should be able to do this one. I'm, not, I'm gonna actually try and see if we can't melee it. I'm a little bit encumbered though, so that might be a problem. If I can drop some stuff on the bike before we do this, perhaps. I want to see if we can't save some ammo on this instead of... Oh, hello. Um, I'll just do this. I was going to say, let's just try and melee him, but just now he gets a bite off. Okay, so, we have to go and do this. Make sure we're not too encumbered right now. Oh, hello. Yeah, you wanted to come from behind just now. Damn it. Where are you? That's definitely going to bite me. Okay, so let's just try this. Come on, come in a straight line. As long as you guys are in front of me, I can do this. I need to be careful not to run out of stamina right now. That's the biggest thing. If you run out of stamina while you're facing these ladies, you're one, going to get hit. And two, you're not going to be able to swing this thing. Oh, nice. Bled out. Did not mean to make it bleed out, but it bled out. Nice. See, why use ammo when you can save it? Just use melee. Obviously, you have to backtrack a little bit to be able to do it. Okay. Um, now we first go and drop the stuff off. I want to see at the forge base what we were busy crafting. It's been so long since I've actually been at the forge house that everything inside has to be done by now. As on the one hand, I want to pre-record all of Darkness Falls episodes and start a new series. But at the moment, I'm already doing two streams of uh, Undead Legacy instead of Undead Legacy and another one because I'm afraid of getting lost, uh, uh, like losing my uh, progress, like where I am in the game. So I think what I'm doing is also, it gives me a nice time. If I could record like I'm doing right now, I'm able to go and cut out a lot of stuff, do editing, pause, unpause because I have more time. So why do I now want to go and mess with the time I have by introducing a new mod? So I think I'm not going to pre-record the whole series. Obviously, I'm still doing the week at a time because just now there's a power outage. But other than that, I'm not going to pre-record anything else. Uh, and I'm not going to pre-record Darkest Falls until it's completion because it's just going to be too much right now. And I, I already saw it's not necessary to do so anyways. Okay, we need to go upstairs quickly. I actually want to move all of these trees to the top. I want to see exactly how tall they are. I want to go and put a roof on top of this. Yeah, all the corn's done. We can put a roof on top of this, then put trees on top of that, and then put uh, vegetables on top of that, and then put trees like um, coconuts and stuff on the very, very top. What did you just say? The uh, drone just said, sometimes it says, oh, watch out, there's zombies. But it says so quietly or so far away, you can't really... Oh, what's going on? Okay, let me just quickly do a little bit of inventory management. And then I'll see you guys back as soon as I put everything away over here. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to make myself some more food and stuff. But for now, let's place these two. We also need some batteries. There's a zombie or two downstairs making some noise. Probably quickly got to take care of them. And then I want to put these lathes down where I can still pick them up again. Yeah, as long as we can see that hand sign, we know. Okay, cool, we can pick them up again. Do that, do that, and finally we can make some coil weapons. I repaired the blue laser sword we had, but I, I forgot that it requires the other laser stuff. Um, so it lost durability just now because it requires future class to not lose durability. I'm going to just do this for now and get it over the 60 mark. There you go. Which means I can actually put one more mod on here that I didn't have on. I think I'm going to go for Handbreaker. So if you attack zombies with armor on, I hope that's how it works. If you attack zombies with armor on, it actually breaks their armor faster. 
Although I don't think that's how it works, but it's still worth a try. I don't think we have an Ironbreaker. Damn. I already have anti-rad on. Damn it. Okay. So unfortunately, we have to... Okay, we can make another one. Um... I'm just going to take care of the zombie down below. The more damage zombies do like this, the worse my base gets. Now, I really made a massive hole in the side of the base of it. I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, look at that. He just came outside. So they're digging into my walls over here. I'll refix the patch or two. I think on the other side, there's even more of a hole. There you go. Okay, so we need to see what kind of uh, stuff we can craft right now. Give me a break. Give me a break, young. I got all these trees on the way, so I can't really tell where the zombies are. Oh, there's one right beneath me, unfortunately, and we cannot reach it. Okay, you know what? Let me just try and kill a few zombies in the vicinity. Uh, as long as there's no wandering hordes and stuff coming, we should be able to quickly just clear out the area. Unfortunately, even though Feral Sands is off, if you're just in the vicinity of where a zombie could be, you know what? I'm actually quickly going to go for this Forge House. We're close enough to it. Let's just quickly go check out whether this is done or not. I can't remember what I was busy crafting over here. I need to also see if we can't craft ourselves some um, electrical parts. Now, these don't have their own tools yet. These have all four. All four have some tight or forged titanium. Yeah, these weren't doing anything at all. Okay. Uh, this wasn't doing anything. This wasn't doing anything. I can actually take these out now these out now and then just quickly make sure all of these have their things inside so this one has all four this one has only three i need another tool and die set okay and then eh, i don't really need to use these at the moment it's way more uh, uh, logical to use the advanced forges because they don't require fuel and they don't call screamers so why have these two big forges over here if it's just going to call in a ton of screamers for us Licking my fingers. My whole body's just creaking like an old man. <laughs> okay, but yeah, um, I need to see. We have so many of these turret um darts right now, the dart trap darts, that we don't really have to make any more of them at this stage. So the other thing that we have to make is like bullet ca uh casings. And we need steel casings for the foil ammo. Now what if I shouldn't focus on that a bit? Put these in there. We can actually sell these for 700 piece. Okay, uh let's start on this side. Okay, so how many bullet casings can I make? Almost 10,000. We're going to run out of iron. So let's go for 2.5 each. Hope we don't need the iron for something else. I know armor piercing rounds and stuff also need them. We, we kind of need a little bit of steel. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't focus on steel on this one. How much steel can I make if I make max? Wow, that's a lot. Let's make 100 steel. And then with the rest of the three over here, we can go and make ourselves some casings. Because we're going to need it for the guns we are about to craft. Uh, let's go 8. Just gonna copy this so it's easier to type in the next one. Okay, oh, that's close enough. Okay, so we can put these away. Uh, we have some steel on us, and now we have some forge iron. Now that we know where that wasteland is, we can easily just go and hello. Uh, we can easily just go and mine some forged titanium. So, or no forged titanium, titanium. I need to mine as much titanium and uh, plutonium and uranium as possible so I can start making my own energy cells as well. We are going to need the forge, the fusion forge, but as soon as we unlock a few more things for the future tech, we'll be able to do that as well. You should, you should actually just use... Oh, I need to actually replace that. You should just use the, few, the, the books, the red books, to be able to make yourself go up in classes. But since we are actually struggling finding red paper at this stage... I'm actually thinking of using my skill points that I wanted to use for the blade over here. The next one's going to be unlocked at level 125. We're almost there. So in 10 levels time, we'll just be able to read a book and then we'll get level 3 out of 5. For this one, we do this. But for the next one, instead of spending 3 points, we read a book. Um, this unlocks recipes for laser sword, power arm. Oh, I'll be able to get a level 80 sword. Nice. Plasma axe might also be good. Unlocks recipes for nanites. All 2 tech boost perks and 2 bio uh, bo uh, boost perks. Unlocks the pulse grenade, laser pistol, laser... Oh, I need this. So we need to level up like crazy now. I think the more quests we do, the better that's going to be. Or well, easier that's going to be. I want to see if we can quickly make some coil ammo. So if we go weapon parts. 
Let's see what we can actually make at the moment. If we were to go over here, I think we make the laser. No, we don't make them over here, right? Well, guns and stuff to make over here. What can we make? Nothing. What do we need to make well, uh, weapons and stuff like that at the moment? Well, carbine, we need... Oh, well, okay. I want to make sure we make everything we can make at the moment and then see what we're going to need for the parts. To make coil receivers and stuff like that, you need steel, electrical, mechanical, oil. Electrical, mechanical... Let's do this. And we should have more oil, yes. Just a little bit. Okay, so to make... This a quail carbine receiver. We have a quail pistol grip, right? We have a quail carbine, coil gun parts. I need one more part. And then the revolver of this would do... Oh wait, what, am I, what did I just run out of? Steel. It's a good thing we're making steel on the bench, but I'm going to have to make more than just 100. But yeah, now we'll be able to at least make a pistol part. Uh, we can make another grip that's unnecessary, and then we have a quail pistol barrel. So as soon as this, I actually should, should do that. Let's make a few more of this. Now, as soon as that finishes, we'll be able to at least make one of that. Do we have more steel over here? Just eight. We have more resources like iron, because I'm, I'm going to have to go mining again soon. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go mining soon again, because we don't have enough iron. But the nice thing is, in this tunnel that I have over here, there's a ton of iron. So getting iron is really, really easy. It's getting the other stuff, like lead and... Uh, Nitrates and all that stuff. That's the, the hard part. Should probably just drive in between these two places. But I can just all run. I have my bike on me. In case I need it for a getaway. So I don't, I don't want to run. Say you're wondering what comes from, for us over here. I don't want to run on foot away from them. Especially if there's a mutated footballer. You are screwed. They're so damn fast. They catch you easy. Okay, so. I'm definitely going to need more steel over here. I need some clay. And some iron. Oh, I didn't even see that iron over there. I can make even more steel than we have. Nice. So just with this steel, we'll be able to make a few more coil things, and then these can finish in time. Nice, nice, nice. That's all I needed. I can leave the door open because no zombie can get in there. Uh, guys, a few of you have been asking why do I have a scarecrow over there. And sometimes my game bugs out. Um, or there might be a setting off somewhere. Because basically, if I don't have that enabled, or like if I don't have the chunk active and I leave the... Say, for example, we were driving around the map, right? I was out of this area. The only thing that kept my crops from gro uh, that kept my crops growing was the fact that we had the scarecrows over here. The problem is with the forges sometimes... Sometimes the forge finishes when I'm not even online. Like, I close the game down and then it finishes. Other times, when I'm not in the chunk, for some reason it just doesn't do anything. So yeah, it all depends. Uh, how do I make the laser barrel? Look well, barrel. Short iron pipes. That's easy enough. So yeah, I'll rather put it down so I know it's going to finish than not put it down and later regret not doing it. Okay, so now we can actually make two more receivers. Oh, now I'm out of oil, I think. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oil. Why, did, why couldn't I see this thing? Okay, so we're already making two below. Let's make two over here. And then... How may I assist you? I hate, it when the sh I hate it when the drone does that. And then this over here. Now we'll be able to make four pistols and possibly combine them. Just put that over there. Uh, this one I'm actually going to put up top. Boom. So as soon as these are done, we can actually make four pistols. I also want to see shotguns and stuff. I want to make as many coil guns as possible. If I can make sure I have all the coil guns, but in um, red quality, little 80s, doesn't matter how much steel it costs, I want to do it. I need to do it. Yeah, all of this stuff I want to put away for now because we're going to come back. I first want to go do those other trader quests and see if I can actually complete them or not. I think it's going to be a little bit tough though because it's going to be level 5 quest on the way to... Kate, uh, not Caitlyn, uh, to Jen. So if we can't get it done, I might just have a little bit of a problem. Tools that they oh tool nice it uh yeah let's just keep that on us or i'll put it in you basically we need the tool and dice for other forge um for the advanced forge that we have so now we have it i should probably just quickly yeah i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stop at this forge house i'm quickly gonna put in the tool and dice set and then i'm gonna go and go to the fetch so i'll see you guys as soon as we get to the fetch pi 
Okay, so I have not done this pure eye before. Let me see if I can't get a wolf inside over there. I haven't done this pure eye before, so there might be like demons and stuff. I need to be careful. Level 5 fetch quests. And it's gonna be underground. I wanna see if I dig underneath. It's gonna be easier to dig underneath and find it. Or do I have to go up to the front properly? There's a massive tunnel system down here. And there's definitely demons. I should be able to clear a few demons out, but the problem is going to be as soon as I get too deep down. Where is the fetch though? How deep down is this? I need to be careful that no wandering hordes come and fall in behind me over here. I wonder if this thing actually shows you where it is. Um, it doesn't really show you that much. Okay, I was, I was about. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I just see red marks? Yeah. Okay, that's a ton of red marks right now. I need to be careful. Putrid gold, demonic. See, so if they fall in with me right now, that's not going to be too bad. Uh, because I have my sword and I can stun them and stuff. My drone might just have to be out of the way. My drone's definitely going to get in my way over here. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, so yeah. Let's just see. We still need to go down, right? I hope I don't accidentally dig into this building. It still shows it's down. I want to make sure we can actually get this done without really... As long as we don't get stuck over here. We do have uh, concrete blocks. So if I need to stack up and away from zombies, we can just stack up over here. I need to see whether the minimap shows it's even with me or up. I can't really tell what it says on the minimap. It's a shame you can't go through this block. You have to go a little bit wider. What is that? I need to be careful of zombies coming from right now. The final stash is going to be a pain to get. There's going to be a dog over there. I'm just going to dig as far as I can like this and see how, how far I can get. I just have this feeling though we're going to get ambushed for like a ton of demons and behemoths and stuff before I'm able to finish this. It does seem like we're on the right level though now, so we should be good to go. Oh, I might just dig inside of here and then we have a problem. Let's go around. Nope. I need to be careful of how I dig. Sometimes the way you dig can stop you from moving or getting away. I'm on the wrong side of this building. I should have actually gone on the other side. If a wandering horde or something comes for me right now, him already, if he falls down here, we're screwed. I'm just going to keep on digging quickly and I'll catch you guys back if something happens like a horde or something spawns in. We should be able to survive if something happens right now, but yeah. Oh crap, let me just quickly get this on me. I can't even... Oh, that's bad. I need to tweak that a bit. We need to be able to get out of here easily and getting stuck of here is not uh, how you get out. But yeah, I'm quickly going to cut away and I'll catch you guys back as soon as something happens. Hopefully nothing happens though. Hey guys, this place is way more dangerous than I thought. A few tough zombies and stuff here. Um, there's a final stash down there. It, it looks like an underneath cavern or something. It's really, really epic. It looks like a lost city underground or something. Um, I want to see though, if we can quickly... Perhaps get this bag. Getting out of here. Oh, now I'm getting all the parts that I'm making. Oh, that sucks. Okay, it's going to run up here. These are too many. I actually made a hole of here so it's easier to kill them. And we can actually... Oh no, we can't see in there. I need to make a hole so it's easier to... For them to get to me and me to get to them. I want to give them that slight chance of being able to get to me right now. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, we need to let them come to us right now. So if we can help them break that... 
Uh, I need to put one of these down. Can I move past this? Let's do this. I want to break that. Yep, 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 yep. Oh crap. Is that a demon? Yeah, that's a demon. Nice, this turret's really, really powerful if you actually make sure the zombies de uh, regen stops. Damn. Nice. Oh wow, this turret's powerful. He's gonna set me a light. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, this is getting it really, really close. As you guys can see, I'm stuck in the ground over here. If I can get that stash over there, though. We should be able to get that easily now because all the zombies came for us. I'm trying to see if I can't dig into the walls to where I need to be, but... ah, Now the zombies will be able to just fall down. I think I should actually do this. Just so we have a little bit more time to respond when they do something. All of this is concrete. It's insane how tough everything is, but uh, yeah, there's a ton of tough zombies waiting for us over here. I need to be careful when I'm digging through here now. We don't get too many demonic zombies and stuff on us. Here's staircases and a ton of stuff over here. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, keep on digging through this place like this and I'll catch you guys back when more stuff happens right now. Why can't I hit this? The nice thing is, yeah, this is kind of cheesing it guys because you're not clearing this place out all the way through. But look at all the demons. I just wonder where this fetch quest is because I'm going all over and I can't see the damn thing. Oh, um... Man, there are so many zombies over here. If I could just take out these demonic ones, have them come for this room, uh, that uh, hole over there. I should have actually tried going down on them. And over here, I should be able to block this off using this. But the nice thing is, as long as you use this, you can actually see where all the zombies are. Yeah, I'm so underground, it's not even show. Oh, there you go, there's a ton of zombies up there. Crap, 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 crap. Those snakes are usually not snakes. I need to be careful. When I heard the commotion just now, I was like, what? I just woke up. I think they're all trying to come to over here. So as long as we have a turret or two down, we should be able to defend ourselves. Wait. Imagine that all... Imagine that came out, uh, like, for example, over that hole, through that hole over there that we made. Be careful that demons and stuff don't just fall on our heads over here. I don't know if there's a hole over there that can actually climb through, so let me be careful. Kind of stairs and stuff over here. Okay, um. If I can break this open, I'm gonna call a few zombies to me by doing this. But I can break this open fast by doing this. And then I need to book it to the hatch or to the blocks that we have uh, out there so we can just crawl again. This is actually a really dumb thing I'm doing right now. A really dangerous thing. All I need to do is make sure we get back over here, crouch, jump, and we are kind of safe. Oops. Nope. You have to make sure you are inside a one by one over here. Okay, yeah, uh, most of these zombies seem to have woken up right now. We just need this fetch quest. So I'm going to cut away and I'll see, uh, see you guys as soon as we... You know, I'm actually going to end the episode here because we don't know how long it's going to take. So if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.